Hey guys, Liam here. This is going to have to be a quick video, but I just wanted to show you guys some more of my foreign keys and reprints. So first of all, here we have Spider-Man and Zoids, number 10. Yep, yeah, number 10. And this is the UK uh, edition of Amazing Spider-Man 238. And if we flip it over, we have the UK edition of Secret Wars, number 8. This one, unfortunately, I'm trading away, but I'm sure I'll find one eventually. Next up, we have another Spider-Man and Zoids. This is number 22, and this is the UK Web of Spider-Man number 1. Next up, we have another UK Amazing Spider-Man 238, but this one is quite a bit bigger. Um, almost too big to be graded by CGC. And uh, it's uh, a white cover as opposed to black. And then on the flip side, this is an interesting one. This is the UK Amazing Spider-Man 129, and this is actually sideways. So that's pretty cool. Next up we have uh, the UK edition of The Incredible Hulk 180 um, in Mighty World of Marvel, number 196. These are pretty hard to come by. Most of the UK ones are. Next up, we have Spinny Man number six, I think. I'm not sure. But this is the Dutch um, <clears throat> reprint of Amazing Spider-Man 129. Also very hard to find. Next up, we have uh, one of two Italian um, Amazing Spider-Man 129s. This is the magazine-sized one. The other one I showed you is actually not mine anymore. That one is being traded back to the person I got it from originally. And I'm getting a CGC signed copy. So, that'll be cool. Next up, one of my favorites. We have Secret Wars number 8. This is the Canadian price variant, as you can see there. And um, this is incredibly hard to come by. Um, I've only ever seen three copies, two of which I've owned. Um, the third one probably still lies in the comic shop with, uh, from which I bought this. But, yep. Yeah. Next up, we have the French edition of Secret Wars number 8. I've already shown these. <laughs> And this is another new one. This is the Dutch edition of X-Men 282. This is an incredibly rare one. This is the Hungarian Amazing Spider-Man 298. In pretty nice condition. This is another really nice one. This is... Um, the Swedish Amazing Spider-Man 298. Really high grade. I'm pretty sure I've shown this before, but I'll show it again real quick. This is the Polish 298, but yeah, I've shown it before, so... Sorry for going so fast, by the way, but I have to go right away, so I figured I'd uh, make the video quickly. This is the Italian Amazing Spider-Man 298. A nice white cover on this one. This is really high grade. And last for the 298s, we have the Spanish edition. This one is a Golden Age size as opposed to a modern size. So it's really hard to find bags and boards for this, so I just kind of improvised. <laughs> and then we have the Italian edition of Amazing Spider-Man 300. Nice black cover. Really hard to find in high grade. And this one is brand new for me. This is the French Amazing Spider-Man 300. Really nice red cover. Oh, there goes my stand. Um, next up we have the French Canadian Amazing Spider-Man 361. Very hard to find as well. 
Next up, this one's pretty interesting. This is the French Amazing Spider-Man 238, but they used a different cover than the American one. So that's pretty interesting. This is in really high grade as well. I've already shown that. Ah! This is the Spanish Amazing Spider-Man 299. I have the uh, Spanish 300 coming in as well, so I'll have the complete trilogy in the Spanish. This one as well is interesting. This is the German Amazing Spider-Man 299. There is no German 298 or 300, so this one is pretty much the only one in that trilogy. Really high grade. The German ones are fairly easy to find in high grade because I think they had higher print runs and there's more of a fan base there as far as collecting comics goes. So, Oh, no, I've shown this one. Uh, okay, this is a brand new one for me as well. This is the Swedish Amazing Spider-Man 129. Really bright colors, as you can see. And here, I was talking about this one in the last video, but I didn't actually have it. This is the French uh, Amazing Spider-Man 252, but this is the regular issue. It's not the collected edition. As you can see, it's quite a bit thinner than the other one. Still pretty thick, but not thick enough to be a collected edition. And this one is going to be signed and graded. Signed by Ron Friends. Sending it off in the next couple days. So I'll show, you, show that to you guys when it comes back, along with the other ones. This is another one that's going out. This is... I can't pronounce that, that uh, title, but this is the Finnish Amazing Spider-Man 252. Once again, going to be signed. I can't wait, personally. And this is pretty much the prize jewel of my foreign collection. collection. This is the Greek Amazing Spider-Man 252. Um, there's a huge story behind how I got this book. Um, I'll make a video on that. But, uh, as you can tell, it's smaller. Um, it's incredibly hard to find. This is the only one myself and other collectors on the CGC forums I've ever seen. Um, if you guys have any others, I would love to buy them off you because um, this is just such a cool issue. This one is going to be signed as well, but this one will be signed on the interior cover instead of the uh, front cover. Next up, we have the Hungarian Secret Wars number 8. Nice blue background instead of orange. Once again, really hard to find. And then we have Secret Wars number 1, Canadian price variant. Very nice, very high grade. Oh, this one's nice too. This is the Spanish Incredible Hulk 181. This is currently my only copy of Hulk 181. But this is uh, about the same size as Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number one. It's not quite a magazine, but it's not quite a comic either. So yeah. And last but definitely not least, another prize jewel in my collection. This is Amazing Spider-Man 129, the Colombian edition. Very, very hard to find. This one is in low grade. But this was given to me as a gift. And I absolutely love it. If I do get this one signed, it will be on the interior cover, since this one is so rare. Anyways, guys, um, I have more to show, uh, like, non-foreigns, but I'll have to uh, save that for another time, because I'm running out of, uh, I'm running out of time here. So I'll uh, leave this with you guys, and uh, rate, comment, subscribe. If you have any video ideas for me, let me know, and I'll do my best. See you later.